Ta Shi Len Oh my. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so, so much for 10K. I can't believe we're finally here. I am so thankful for all of you guys. This is so exciting for me. I have been waiting for this moment for a long time and I can't believe it's finally here. So, to celebrate today, I made another giant ice cream sundae because that is probably my most requested mukbang at the moment. Like, so many of you wanted me to do another ice cream sundae mukbang. We're finally doing another one because it's finally warming up a little bit. Not really, but a little bit, so I think I can handle it. <laughs> also, I know a lot of you guys like to see me make my ice cream sundaes on camera, and I honestly like making them on camera. I think it's really fun, but I have a lot to talk about today, a lot that I need to get into, and my ice cream sundae videos are always long anyway, so I didn't make it on camera today, but I will next time, I promise. But also, today is the 10K celebration, and I promised you guys a giveaway, so... There will be two winners for this giveaway. I will be giving away a copy of my cookbook as well as a bucket hat because I personally love bucket hats. I just think they're so cute and I wanted to share that with you guys because it's something that I love and yeah. So how the giveaway is going to work is I'm going to ask you guys a question and you will answer this question in the comments along with your Instagram or your email and then I will randomly scroll out of the correct answers and pick two random winners and then I will contact you and let you know when you won and then I will send the prize to you. <laughs> it's very interesting because I've never done a giveaway before so I'm trying to get the hang of it. The giveaway will close in a week from today and then I will announce the winners. So the question is how old was I when I moved to China? Comment down below your answers along with your Instagram or your email. And don't forget that because that's my way of contacting you. And yeah. And then also for today, I'm doing a Q&A because we have some new people in the fam. And I know a lot of you guys have a ton of questions. But first, we're starting with the Sunday. So, I have some vegan chocolate chip cookies. These are vegan homemade chocolate chip cookies. These are Trader Joe's vegan, non-dairy, chocolate, mini ice cream cones. And then these are Wicked's cherry chocolate ice cream cones. I have some vegan peanut butter cups. These are um, Blue Bunny's non-dairy ice cream sandwiches. So excited for those. They're so good. I have some Trader Joe's oat chocolate. Trader Joe's, <laughs> this isn't sponsored, Trader Joe's cocoa whipped topping some vegan caramel sauce, vegan chocolate sauce, vegan chocolate sprinkles, vegan peanut butter chips. And then when I get down below, I'll tell you everything. And then it's just chocolate ice cream, which I'm typically not a fan of, but surprisingly, I've been craving it. So, let's dig in. Also have mazapan crumbles and vegan peanut M&Ms and some homemade cookie dough bites. Mm. Ooh, that's bomb. I got a cookie dough and an M&M in there. I also did a drizzle of peanut butter. <laughs> that's the peanut butter.
I'm just not very good at keeping clean today, I guess. Mm. The cones are soggy, but I honestly prefer soggy cones. Trader Joe's chocolate. Cherry underscore Rose asked, where do you get inspiration for your makeup and hairstyling? Most of it is Pinterest. I see pictures on Pinterest and I'm like, that's really cute. And then I just recreate it. Um, also, sometimes I just mess around. I just have fun with it. Jasutin2961 asked, are you planning on going to school or pursuing YouTube? I'm actually not planning on doing school right now, but I am planning on getting a job. Yeah. Um, Lexi Lemon 9075 asks, do you plan on moving out on your own? Eventually, but right now, cost of living is just so, so high and unaffordable. So, like I just said, I'm planning on getting a job and so hopefully that will help me get more income. And then, hopefully eventually, but I also just love living with my parents because they're like my best friends and I don't want to leave them. But, yes, eventually. in a special cup. Oops. So these cookies, I thought they were soft baked, but they're not, which is fine, but I prefer soft baked. They're from the brand, I think Back to Nature. They smelled really good when I was taking them out of the box, so... I just prefer soft. So we'll put them in the ice cream and hopefully they soak up and get soft. <laughs> okay. Ice cream cone. <gasps> oh my gosh. It all came out. Can I? No. Okay. You know what I'll do? Get a bunch of this stuff. Make my own cone. I think that's a chocolate covered pretzel. Come on now.
have a lot of ice cream. So a lot of these questions I've answered before, but I'm going to answer them again because there are new subscribers. So 333 Serotonin asked, Hi Cambria, I love your energy and vibes. Thank you. I'm a huge vegan foodie and I love watching all the different tasty foods you cook. I'm curious, what do you like to eat the days you don't film? Like I said, I've talked about this before, but I love smoothie bowls or nice cream bowls. I eat a lot of veggies and greens. As for protein, there are these burgers called Boca Burgers and they are actually really, really good and they're super high in protein, so I'll eat those. Not all of Boca's burgers are vegan though, so make sure you get the vegan ones. Mom Tashi Leilon 6330 asks, how old are you? I will be 23 September 1st this year. Everything Bagel 019 asked, what are the three top reasons you are proud of yourself or feel is a good accomplishment? Self-love is so important. That's such a cute question and I love that. Three things, well, number one, this YouTube thing I did all on myself, all by myself. Just how far it's come and like the cookbook that I came out with and all of the foods that I've made. I'm just very, very proud of that. Mmm. I'm proud of how disciplined I am and how hard I push myself when I need to. Um, And I'm proud of all of you guys, that I can call you guys my friends. That makes me very proud. Uh, Yasmin Abdonor1 asked, would you be doing some more story times in the future? Definitely, I actually have, I have a story time for you guys. Stay tuned. EJ-IG2PD asked, why did you live in China and for how long? We lived in China for almost eight years and we moved there because my dad got a job there. Uh, Jordan2123 asked, what is a bucket list location you want to travel to? So many, but I think the top of my list right now... <gasps> no, these are completely melting. I knew that was going to happen. Um, top of the list, probably either the UK or Bali, Indonesia. Ah, or Kauai, Hawaii. Mmm. <laughs> Sorry.
Mm. Homemade cookies are just always better. I feel like I always forget to drink water when I have ice cream sundaes because the ice cream is kind of refreshing. I don't know. I don't have an excuse for that one. Ice Queen 7025 asked, is earning a living as a content creator tough? Any dream collabs? So I feel like this isn't talked about a lot. Having the amount of subscribers I have, I could not make a living off of what I'm doing. But YouTubers that have millions of subscribers bring in so much money. So for them, I don't think it's necessarily tough. But And because I love what I'm doing and I'm so passionate about it, it doesn't make it tough. I mean, yes, there are definitely hard times, but I really love it and any dream collabs i mean i've always wanted to collab with sam and colby um but food related i think the takedown twins would be so cool or nick dampier would be so much fun and if there are any more i'll put them on the screen it's faith you Fu 5375 asked how did it feel to live in china without being from there i really want to travel there so i was pretty young when we moved there and i didn't really understand the fact that we were moving to another country but because I was so young, it was just fun for me. But when I grew older and learned that we were in a different country, I didn't really feel out of place because there were a lot of foreigners there. Well, not a lot, but we got together with a lot of foreigners and did homeschooling with them. And so it didn't feel like I was out of place. Plus, the Asians are so sweet. Oh my gosh, I love Asians. <laughs> the Chinese people there were so sweet and so kind, but I wouldn't move there now. Too much going on um and it would be so different i'd love to visit but not move there mm. well
Ta-da! <laughs> That was just a bunch of cookie dough. And I have food all over my face. I'm not complaining about the cookie dough though. That was good. Just unexpected. I'm starting to get really cold. <laughs> Jasmine underscore 196 asked, what is one of your favorite memories when you were in China that you still remember vividly? There was a day that I was hanging out with my sister. This is the first one I thought of. We were at a park and you know those tubes, those plastic tubes that you can like cross over on a playground? We were sitting on top of one of those and she had just seen the movie The Ring. And at the time, I wasn't really exposed to a lot of scary things and so I wanted her to tell me all about it. And so... She, she would tell me like a little bit of the movie and then she'd be like, all right, now we have to wait till tomorrow. And I'd be like, no, I don't want to wait. So yeah, I remember we would do that a lot. She would tell me scary stories and it was typically kind of cloudy and rainy. Good vibes. Malika Jamil asked, how's your family doing? Hope they're well. Oh, that's so sweet. I mean, we all have our ups and downs, but we're doing good. And when will your sister be back for a video? Lots of love. I don't know. We've been trying to get together to do a video, but our schedules are so crazy. Like, I barely see her as it is, so I don't know. Hopefully soon. Krissa underscore str2003 asked, what is something that makes you mad? Entitlement. People who think they're so entitled that they can just do whatever they want. Navely Garg 8090 asked, what is your height? I am 5'9 and a half. R underscore I-C-K-Y Ricky dot 19 asked, where are you from? I am originally from Utah. Raphael Hardwick asked, out of all the desserts, which one is your favorite and why? Daifuku, which is a strawberry covered in red bean and then mochi. And the reason why that is my favorite is because it's refreshing but so sweet but the textures are so different oh my gosh like there's just something about it it's a magical food 
So that's my favorite dessert at the moment. Maddie 8405 asked, did you do any sports in high school or early childhood? If so, what was your favorite one? I never strictly played any sports, but I've always loved to play softball. When we played it in PE, I was totally here for it. And I've just always been a fan of baseball and all that. So, But I've also just loved dancing ever since I was little as well. But in China, I actually took Kung Fu and that was pretty cool. I loved that. Sorry about that, guys. My camera battery died again. <laughs> So I'm gonna take a few more bites and then I'm and I'm gonna answer a few more questions and then I'm gonna be done. Vampire asked, do you prefer talking or non-talking vids? It seems like non-talking get you more subscribers, so does that influence the content you put out? By the way, I love you. Take care. Aw, I love you too. Um, I prefer talking videos. I like how chill the non-talking videos are, but I really feel like I connect with you guys in my talking videos, and I get to express myself more, I guess. So, I mean, it doesn't really influence. I mean, it, it does, but I'm still going to put out content that I want to put out, so... And last one, Hadley K eight six five five asked, "What's your favorite TV show?" Personally, mine is Stranger Things. Love your videos. Thank you. I do not have a favorite show because there are so many good ones. I love Supernatural. I love Stranger Things. I love The Office. I love Cobra Kai. I love Doctor Who. Um, ew. <laughs> there are just so many good ones. But personally, right now, I love Jujutsu Kaisen. It's an anime, and it's so good. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> Last bite. Alright guys, that is the end of this mukbang. Thank you guys so much again for 10k. I just can't believe it. I'm so glad you guys are all here. I truly, truly, truly just appreciate all of you guys. And I appreciate you supporting me, doing what I love doing, and making it possible for me to do something I'm passionate about. So, don't forget to comment your question, or your, the answer to my question, and your Instagram or email for the giveaway. I'm just so grateful for you guys. Thank you for your questions as well. I'm sorry I didn't get to all of them, but I hope what I answered was good enough. <laughs> Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to see more, and don't forget to subscribe. By the way, it's free. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!